Hello everybody. This is the, we're about to do another, uh, the second in a version of videos that I'm doing on improving your musical pitch. And this, this tutorial will be done using the uh, game by Wii Nintendo, Wii Nintendo. It's called Wii Music and the game is pitch perfect. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go, first of all I set the volume at 18. You can set it whatever volume you like, but just remember that if you go higher or, low, higher or lower in volume, that will affect the way that you perceive pitch slightly. So uh, I start out with the baseline of 18, then I might go up to 19 or down to 17 and so forth. So you click here, click start. then you wait. <laughs> in this game I want to show you that I have according to Wii Records if you Google Wii Records and click on there you can go to Wii Music and you'll see that <laughs> I currently have seven of the eight world records. Now uh, one caveat I want to mention about that is I think all, this, all eight of these world records can be broken and I'll show them to you here in a minute. Any quick games it's perfect. One person. That handsome guy that looks just like me. Oh, I'm old. Okay, now this here will test whether you know whether the nose do, me, or soul. I think that's soul. Oh, it was Doe. Okay, we missed it. Okay, I don't have perfect pitch, so I don't always get that one. Bummer. Okay. Now you can see there's eight levels here. Now that's a world record. 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 That's a world record and that is not. Can't get that one yet. <laughs> that one gets me every time. And I've, I can go 10 for 10 on all seven levels, but I've never gone 10 for 10 on this one. I've gone 9 for 10. So that one's been my veritable bugaboo. Now, I don't think the 162 can go much higher. You really have to, I think maybe 165. I don't know if this game has a perfect score on it. But I think 165 is pushing the upper limits because you have to go so fast just to get it. I'll show you in a minute. But all these I think you can get up towards 162 as well, eventually, or at least in the high 150s. So these can all be broken. These four can definitely all be broken. So can these, but uh, these are a lot tougher to break because you're getting up where you've got, to, you've got to get 10 for 10 and you've got to do it fast. So let's try level one and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go as fast as I can to try and get a record. I knew that was it because the first two weren't it, so I didn't need to click on the last one. Okay, see this number, 70 after 3? I can't get the record. You need to be at least at 71, so... There's the highest pitch. These are tricky. You want a negative, something negative. I forgot to record my favorite TV show. So something that conveys negativity. Okay, see that number 110? You really need 111 or 112 even to go for the record. So. I think it's the piano. Two, three, four, five, da. 
Okay. Okay, this one's tricky. Don't think it's the high one. Got it. Up. I messed up and that'll probably cost me a top ten. Equally spaced. See how they're equally spaced? Okay, 156. We didn't get the record. We didn't get the world record and we got um, 156, so seventh. The world record is actually on Wii Records is 161. Mine's 162. So I've never entered mine, but onto the records. But so you can see we got a seventh place there compared to that. So that's not bad, and I, I made that one mistake there. Well, let's try level two. <clears throat> and missed it, didn't I? Whoops! See, that's what happens. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Easy when you hear them back to back, aren't they? I struggled with that one too, didn't I? That was easy and I'm distracted by, by narrating here. This is going to be a poor score, but I'm, just because I'm because I'm doing the video, I'll just go through here. I knew it was that one. But there's something positive now. Correct, you got it. So. What's positive? It's pretty easy. <laughs> the other one didn't sound too positive, did it? The horn sounded pretty funky. Two, three, four, and... Okay, so the fifth note of the seventh was a turkey there. I don't think it's... Got it. See how the low one? The low one there didn't fit in. Okay. Still going to get a decent score here. There's a big pause here. See that big pause? Okay. Well, that wasn't much to brag about. We got 145 out of 159. So minus 14. So that was a 15th place compared to this. Still not bad for making that stupid mistake at the beginning. All right. Want to try level three? Why not? Here we go. Same pitch. That one sounded easy. Oh, got lucky. When they're back to back, it's always easier, or most of the time it is. Looking for the lowest pitch.
sorry, try again. You would think it would be that one, but it's not. I don't know why. The other one sounded more like it to me. But... Last note, second to last. Second to last note. This one's tough. I think we got it. No, missed it. There. There we go. Okay, see how you got to check the other ones out to see, hear what one matches? Well, that was screwy, but we got it. That was a screwy movement, but... Lower, lower, lower. High, lower, 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 higher. Equal spaces. Okay, 131. We didn't, we didn't get all 10 right that time either, did we? We did in the first round, but not round two or three. When you're going fast, you don't always get 10 for 10. So that was 131 out of 155, 25th place, if you... Look at it that way. Okay, we'll try level four. Why not? You only live once. <clears throat> Getting harder, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it wasn't the other three, so I didn't need to check it. Save a couple seconds. Oh. 70. Oh, I missed it. That just sounded funky to me, but I got the wrong one there. It happens sometimes, even on an easier level. Sometimes all of a sudden it sometimes all of a sudden it sounds wrong and you talk yourself out of it. That's kind of what I did there. Okay. Now my confidence is down, so I was after missing one, it's like you miss a a, a, a putt for birdie, a, a for par, then you get a bogey, then you're worried on the next hole, right? Hey, I wanted that. That's kind of greedy. That was too positive. Hey, I wanted that's a little more negative. Yeah, your pitch, you, you can start missing some and it'll get in your head a little bit. Ooh. I think it's the sixth and last note. No? Missed it. Oh, there it was. It's the electric guitar and the, and the uh, violin, you confuse, I, I don't know why. Oh, we got two out of three. Okay, pick that one out though, didn't we? This one can be tricky. Okay, we're not tearing it up, are we? Okay, 
Okay, this one's got to go over real quick. Got to beat that line. Big pause in the middle. Okay. Well, after getting a, a, a very high score in round one, I'm kind of stinking it up in these next three rounds, but I'm trying to show you how to do it. Okay, that was a 43rd place. Okay. Okay, now level five. This is where it starts to really get tricky. Wait do you... Where do you see this one? Oops. I missed it. Just realized. Okay. This one's probably one of the hardest ones in the whole game. This one will this one freaks me out. See, it's just totally different textures, you know, different sound. No? Too deep. Too high. No? Oh, it was the highest one. See? I. I I just did not hear that that time. I don't know how you all did on that one, but... It's like that game Concentration. We used to play when I was younger when we didn't have computers. You'd try to pick two cards, you turn all the cards over and you try to find the ace and the ace, or the, the seven and the seven. tried to match the cards and then you flip them over again. That's kind of what you're doing here. I think it's that one, right? There we go. I'm totally out of it today. That's the negative, right? That was too positive. Kind of a negative emotion. I'm totally out of it today. Is that the horn? Trumpet? The third one? There it is. Third, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that was the third of nine. That one really stood out. That was kind of easy. Sometimes they are, sometimes they are. This one's real tough. You got to pick out three parts out of five. See, totally different textures. Try those three. Oh, we nailed it. I picked those out, didn't I? Okay, this one's fun. This one's real hard, too. Low to high, left to right. Low to high. There's low. There we go. Oh, got it. Picked that one out, too. Those are... Those are two tough ones in a row I just nailed. I feel good now after not doing so good before. A little banjo. Okay, that one goes there. Now I know these from pattern recognition. I've done them so many times. So that's a little, I can do all eight levels really quick on those. That's just, it's more pattern recognition now. I know them all. 95. Uh, 55th place. We didn't, qu <laughs> we didn't quite get the record there either. We did have some nice moments. Okay. Want to go on to level six? Why not? We're having fun. <clears throat> I think it's that one. Sometimes they're easy and sometimes it doesn't come at all. Like Meatloaf saying, right? Level six, seven, and eight get tough. Oh, that was it, wasn't it? All right, we're, we're on a roll. 
call us butter because we're on our own. Ooh, I wasn't sure about I didn't feel too confident there. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Will our hero survive? Kind of a, a question and then an exclamation, right? A combination of the two. Those two sound pretty close, too, if you ask me. Ooh. It's the xylophone. Three, four, five. See that second to last note really went up. Boom. This is real tough. No. Here's that one. No. Now I went with. See, I went too high. Two, two notches too high. See, low, medium, high. That was my original. So I had to go two notches lower. Which is my standard miss. When I miss, I usually miss one notch or two notch too high. I don't know why. I have no idea. That's it. Oh, got that pretty easily. Okay, I know this pattern. So we'll go real quick. It's fun when you can do it the first time. Okay, <laughs> another decent score. But a 40th place relative, you know, if you subtract 110 from 149, that's 39. It's a 40th place relative to the world record. But, you know, it's still not a bad score. Okay, we'll do 7 and 8. Now it's getting real tough. This is really hard, so brace yourselves. Yourselves. I think that's it. Got it. <laughs> I think it's those two. Okay. That's a tough one. You gotta pick two out of six. Now the pitches are getting closer now. Harder to tell the difference. Oops, hi, I forgot. Not those two. Between these two. Incorrect note. It's either the violin or the guitar. There it is. Second to last note. Okay, we're not doing too badly here. Oh, this is tough. Low to high, left to right. Low, second to low, third. I think we got it. Oh! This is an easy one. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. See, that's got stomping. See the difference there? That, was, that one's not very hard. Okay, this is real tough. Have to pick three out of six. Totally different texture.
Oh, I meant to pick the purple one. Oh, I had it too. <laughs> I had it, but Mitt pulled the wrong one. Oh well, still a mess. Oh, what do you use? Okay, this one, four out of six. Gotta pick four out of the six. Ah. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Okay, once again, these notes will go from high to low. Watch. High to low and then back up to a little bit. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is tricky. Got to be fast on the draw. Oh, we did it. Okay. Okay, see, so we did pretty good there. And look at the score. Still 88. Still 48th place. I mean, that was a pretty good round and still not even close to that world record. So that'll give you an idea. When I did that world record, I was really hot. I got 10 for 10. Okay, here we go. This one, <laughs> I can't promise anything on this level 8. Level 8 is bad. It's tough. You've got to be Mozart to do this one. See, that? that's a different sound, totally. I guess that one. Ukulele? Is that a ukulele? Okay. I guess these two, right? Okay. Not a bad start. Not a bad start for dreaded level 8. I shouldn't have questioned that. That was easy, but I kind of doubted myself. Incorrect note. This is this is brutal. I think it was the horn, though. Four, five, six. No. No. Is it the harpsichord? Yep, second to last note there. I think that's a harpsichord, as opposed to piano or an organ. That was tough. That one's tough. Low to right, low to high, left to right. We've got seven for seven. Can we go eight for eight on this? I think that's it. Drums, guitar, tuba, cello. Oh, no. Um. That it? Okay. That was a disaster. Well, we went seven for eight, but that last one's tough. It was. It started raining. Negative. Unless you like walking in the rain with Belinda Carlisle, then it might be a little different. Okay. I'm dating myself with that old song reference. I went to college in the 80s. Okay. Two. Uh oh, now I forgot which one. Uh oh, if I miss this, we, we, we have to start over. Got it. 
Oh no! <laughs> I, I, I got distracted talking and I forgot which one I didn't put, so we gotta try again. Oh boy, that was a disaster, huh? Okay, that's funny. Let's see if I go 10 for 10. I've never done that yet after that disaster. We're off to a banging start. Pretty good score for three rounds. Okay, let's see if we can get this one this time. Come on, John. I think that sounded a little bit plucky, like plucking a plucking a string. Second to last one again. It's often that second to last note, isn't it? But not always. Sometimes it's the last. Okay, let's see if we can get this one this time. the drums. That's what I'm going with. Drums, guitar, tuba, cello. Or bass. Bass. Ah, oh, I missed it again. A bummer, huh? Okay, this one's really easy. Easy. Oh, it's a bummer, man. That, that, that's such a hard level. I heard that one. I think we got it. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, did I forget which one I discarded again? Oh, it's easy to get confused on those. If you're not paying attention to which ones you, you discarded, you'll put them back again, as you saw by my <laughs> disaster last time. Hear that one? Might be it. No. This one. Is it this one? Now we know it's down to these two. I think it's the deeper one. Yeah, no. That time I missed low instead of high like I often do. Okay, these are tricky. Gotta be ready. I can't, you can't do this one. I mean, it's, you can do it, but... Real tough. I've never done that one time. Somebody can do it if they just set it up just right. Okay, this one's the old doe a deer. Pause, pause, smaller pauses. Hey, we did it with a whopping score of 40, which isn't going to scare any world records. Let's see, 114 minus 40 is 74, so that was a, a 75th place compared to my best score. And I that's the only level I don't have the world record on, level eight. And I believe the world record is 126 in the 120s there, so I'll have to keep practicing, level eight. And when I do break that record, I'll show, I'll show it on a, another video. Okay, that was the, the main things to remember here. 
um, is that you can always improve your pitch. Try to practice for an hour a day. I practice for an hour a day. And um, that, that starts to sound like it's a small world over and over. But I try to practice for an hour a day. Uh, don't get discouraged because some days you have it and some days you don't. Remember, anybody can improve their pitch. Uh, if you think about right now, Harry Connick Jr. and Mariah Carey are both struggling with their singing live. And they're both wonderful singers. So even, even as, as great as they are, both are, they're struggling a little bit with their pitch. Uh, so, you know, they'll have, they have their ups and downs just like everybody else. But uh, another thing to remember is perfect pitch is kind of a, a gift. Uh, I don't have it. I have, good, I have very good relative pitch. You know, I pick one note relative to the other one I heard. Perfect pitch would be when somebody just played a G-sharp with you with your eyes closed and you go, that's a G-sharp. Okay, or remember at the very beginning when I, I missed the soul, do, do, me, or soul. If you could nail that every time, that means you would have perfect pitch. So, but that's very rare. The interesting thing is though some people with perfect pitch are not great singers. So they might be able to hear perfect pitch, but they can't sing it. I don't know why that is, but there's a lot about science and pitch we don't know yet. It's, it's kind of a, there's some unknown variables yet. So it's very interesting, but this will improve your pitch temporarily by doing this. It, it will never give you true. You're kind of born with your 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 pitch, and then you, it's like some people are born natural athletes, and some people have to work at it. Okay, you know, it's like a Ben Hogan had to practice eight hours a day, eight hours a day to be a great golfer. Byron Byron Nelson worked with them. The same caddy already practiced two hours a day. Okay, it wasn't fair, but that's life. Say la vie, but. You can definitely, uh, I've gotten a lot better at this game over the past couple of years and the way I can discern notes now when I listen to music, I really enjoy music a lot more because I can really tell the difference. Uh, I can't really play guitar much anymore or keyboards because my I've got some arthritis in my fingers, but I can definitely, when I listen, I can definitely tell the difference. So I think it's worth it to practice it for an hour a day. if you're. If you're a professional or you, you want to sing Broadway or whatever, I, this can really help you. And it's not that expensive a game. Uh, just buy it at your local store and, um, like I said, practice one hour a day. And I, I think the results, because when I first started, I couldn't, I couldn't get past level one. You know, you know how when you start a video game. Then I got through one and then it progressed from there. So at first, some of you won't be able to get past level one. Then you'll get that. and. When you get level eight, I haven't gotten ten out of ten yet. But when you get that level eight, though, it's a good feeling when you when you pass that. Okay, well that's all for now, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.